from Santa Clara, California, it's theCUBE. Covering Technovation World Pitch Summit 2019. Brought to you by SiliconANGLE Media. Now, here's Sonia Tagare. Hi, and welcome to theCUBE. I'm your host, Sonia Tagare, and we're here at Oracle's Ag News Campus in Santa Clara, California, covering Technovation's World Pitch Summit 2019, a pitch competition in which girls from around the world develop mobile apps in order to create positive change in the world. With us today, we have Team Powerful Daisies from Brazil. Hi. Hi. Um, and their app's called Safe Tears. Um, so their members are uh, Ana Ferronado, uh, Clara Patan, um, Ana Julia uh, Giacomelli, um, Emanuela Mariskin, and Julie Carvalho. Welcome to theCUBE and congratulations on, your, on being finalists. Thank you. <laughs> so your app, Safe Tears, tell us more about that. So our app is a suicide prevention app in which each user gets his own glass of blue feelings where the user adds or removes tears accordingly with his feelings. So if the user is sad, they add tears and if they're happy, they take tears out. Wow, that's amazing. <laughs> so um, can you tell us um, how someone would use the app? So let's say I'm sad. So I go to the app and I add tears. So add those, as my tear percentage rises, the app will send motivational messages to me, like saying go talk to somebody or go find help, and also encouraging me to, be, to, you know, to get better. And if I'm happy, I take tears out and I get messages like congratulating me to, because I'm doing better. So is there like a graph of your improvement of how you feel some days versus how you feel the other days? We would like to implement that in the future, but right now in this version of the app that is not available yet. Okay, well yeah, that would be a great thing to implement. Yeah, it would be. <laughs> so um, how did you come up with, with this idea? So in our community, there were a lot of suicide cases and of course we seen our friends and family and it was something that really needed more help. So we went to a, a lecture about suicide and a woman said that we are like a glass of water. We, we filled that up and then one day all the water gets out and then somebody you know, tries to suicide themselves. So we wanted this person to, to like realize that she's getting worse so she can find help before anything bad happens. And I know that uh, sometimes giving advice to someone who's depressed can be very tricky and you have to make sure you're saying the right thing. So yeah. how did you find out what kind of advice to give um, in your app? Yeah, we had help of our school psychologist. So she was there with us the whole time we were developing and she helped us do every single message that the app sends to the person is, you know, viewed by her. And have you seen, uh, has anyone used the app and has, has felt better, or any success stories? The app hasn't still launched, but we did test it and people really liked it and thought that they would use it. That's amazing. So how did you all meet and why did you decide to join Technovation? So we are from the same school, from different classes, but we are from the same school, so we met there. And our teacher showed us the documentary Code Girl, and that inspired us to join Technovation because we thought it would be a cool experience. And so how did Technovation help you achieve your goals and make your app better? So without Technovation, of course, we couldn't be here and get all this <laughs> experience and learnings to improve our app, so it's helping a lot. And um, can you tell us more specifically, like what skills have you learned from Technovation? Like programming, public speaking, <laughs> and about business. We learned a lot, like doing the business plan, about marketing and publicity and all that. And I heard you guys had an amazing week. Uh, this week you went to Uber, you saw Golden Gate Bridge. Can you tell us more about what are the highlights of the week you've had? Yeah, we went to Uber, of course, and we talked to people there. It was amazing, talked to employee and seeing how is life there. And also we went to the Golden Bridge and we crossed the bridge. <laughs> it was a little, a little bit hard, you know, we're not used to exercising. Right. And last night we had a dance party, which was really fun and we got to interact with people from all over the world and it was amazing. That's so great. Well, thank you so much for coming on. Um, I'm so looking forward to seeing your, your um, app in the App Store one day. And congratulations and good luck for the pitch tonight. Thank you so much. This has been Team Powerful Daisies from Brazil. Um, this is theCUBE. We'll see you next time.